Want to see the best Windows phone against one of the best Android phones? Of course you do. We have already reviewed the Samsung Galaxy S4, so make sure to head over to Pocket now and check that out. This Galaxy S4, the i9500, is the international octa-core flavor. The Lumia 925 is also not the upcoming T-Mobile US version. However, it's one of the top Android phones of the moment compared to the best Windows Phone and Nokia have to offer. In this comparison, we'll take a look at hardware, software and user experience, as well as camera. Even though you can instantly recognize the Lumia 925 as a Nokia phone, the company gave it a fresh look compared to the Lumia 920 and previous models. It is also made out of aluminum for better antenna performance while keeping the polycarbonate back which, in this case, is very smooth and soft to the touch. At 139 grams, it is just 9 grams lighter than the Galaxy S4, which is made completely out of plastic with Samsung's own, controversial by now, hyperglazing technology. There are pros and cons to both when it comes to the in-hand feel. The Galaxy S4 and its hyperglazed polycarbonate is slippery and collects fingerprints easily, but its rounded corners make it feel somewhat better in the hand than the Lumia 925, which is cold to the touch on the edges where the aluminum is, but its squared shape might need some getting used to. Before we look under the hood and see the huge differences, we need to understand the relationship between perception, platforms and the horsepower needed. The Lumia 925 is powered by a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor clocked at 1.5GHz, helped by 1GB of RAM. It has 16GB of internal storage with no expansion options, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and a non-removable 2000mAh battery. The entire front part is Gorilla Glass 2, under which Nokia packed the 4.5-inch Pure Motion HD Plus Clear Black AMOLED display, a real tongue twister, with 768x1280 resolution for a PPI rating of 332. The camera is PureView version 2, the optical image stabilization version, has 8.7 megapixels with Carl Zeiss lens, and it's coupled with a 1.3 megapixel front facer. The GTI 9500 Samsung Galaxy S4 is powered by the octa-core, actually dual quad-core, Exynos 5 chip with a quad-core 1.6 GHz Cortex-A15 chip combined with a quad-core 1.2 GHz Cortex-A7 component. There are 2 GB of RAM and this unit is the 16 GB flavor, expandable of course via micro SD card. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC and the usual suspects are all in, alongside a user-removable 2600 mAh battery. The front is where the 5-inch Super AMOLED HD screen lives with a PPI rating of 441. The camera is a 13 megapixel unit paired with a 2 megapixel webcam on the front. The S4 also has an IR blaster and a cornucopia of other sensors. Both screens deliver great results if you are into saturated colors and deep blacks. However, they don't really shine in outdoor visibility. The Lumia 925 is the clear winner among the two and the information on its screen can be seen in direct sunlight, compared to the S4 where you often need your second hand to cast some shadows. Still, AirView enables you to hover over the screen to see more relevant information and it is just one of the countless features Samsung is offering with its TouchWiz user interface. Gestures, tilting, hovering, head nodding, tapping, flipping, everything is there and while using all or some of them is arguably up for the user, they're definitely bundled. For an in-depth look at all the features of the S4, make sure to watch and read our full review. On the other hand, the Lumia 925 doesn't feature any of those. Windows Phone looks as minimalistic and modern, as fresh, as it looked in the first day, with tiles flipping on your home screen to keep you up to date with what's important. And where Microsoft's operating system is lacking, Nokia is doing a good job at filling in the gaps, whether we're talking about the Hirsute or the camera application. There's always the ecosystem question, which is a debate we'll not go into now. Before purchasing any of these phones, make sure to research the ecosystem and what each has to offer both in terms of software titles and services. The camera on the Lumia 925 is a PureView camera with 8.7 megapixel sensor, optical image stabilization and Carl Zeiss lens. The addition of a 6 lens versus the 5 lens construction of its predecessors tries to make pictures look even better. The viewfinder on the Windows Phone is rather simple and can be misleading or annoying at times, without displaying icons or information about what special mode you are in. 
Luckily, it reverts to default upon launching it again, so you don't miss a shot because of previous settings or modes. And there's always the dedicated shutter release button, which is a must on Windows Phone, unfortunately a rare option on other devices. The Galaxy S4, on the other hand, with its 13 megapixel camera, has a viewfinder where you can tweak everything, select from a cornucopia of shooting modes and see a graphic representation of every tweak you've ever made. We will compare camera quality between these two phones, and of course others, in an upcoming dedicated camera-oriented shootout, so make sure to subscribe to our social media channels so you don't miss it. Nonetheless, we don't want to leave you hanging, so we bundled a couple of photographs snapped by these two phones. In bright, sunny outdoors, they both deliver exceptional results, with the Galaxy S4 offering better overall detail. Take the phones indoors, or in a poorly lit situation, and the Lumia 925 starts to shine. Actually, the darker the environment, the more the Lumia 925 and its low-light performance coupled with OIS shines. To wrap it up, the question is not whether you should get the Lumia 925 or the Samsung Galaxy S4. They're both arguably the best phones on their respective platforms. The real question is whether you should go with Windows Phone or Android, and only you can research and answer that. Once you know which operating system suits your needs, the choice between these two phones is easy. Folks, that's going to do it for today for the Nokia Lumia 925 versus Samsung Galaxy S4 comparison. Stay tuned to Pocket Now. We have a lot more coming on the Nokia Lumia 925. I've been Anton Dinod. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time. microphone. Hope it's fixed.